Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general personal reading and this is for the rest of March. Sagittarius, general personal readings are still general readings. They're just meant to hit on like more personal details. Um, so it's reading the cards at more of a... Um, not necessarily a surface level meaning, but it's basing them more off of their traditional meaning. So rather than like, for example, the chariot being like for movement or victory, well, yes, it can be um, in this reading, it would actually like represent your car, you know, or an actual move. Uh, so that's just an example. But, you know, um, Sagittarius, I do have personals open. Uh, there are two different options. Uh, there's a two question video reading. You get that within three to five business days after purchase. And then there is a three question video read. You get it within two business days after purchase. We are going to go ahead and begin here and see what we've got we got the eight of pentacles showing up here there's something new that i feel you're committed to or focused on you know you can see all, i also feel like you're lining up certain details here some of you you could actually be like um updating a resume or maybe you're creating a resume for the first time like seeing these as like bullet points i feel like you're um you know filling in the details here i feel like you are reshaping something i feel like you're getting really organized here yeah, very focused energy. Very focused energy here. What else do we have? Yeah, we got the fool showing up. This is uh, a leap of faith on something new. Sometimes it can be like a risky type of energy. I feel like you're wanting a clean slate. You're wanting a new chapter here. I definitely feel like you're you're making up like you're making big plans, and I feel like you're going to take a leap on those plans here very soon. Some of you, if this is involving a person, it could be a Virgo or an Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, some of you, you're wanting to leave a job behind or you've already left a job behind. Um, you know, there's this energy here of like, you know, like I said, the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're updating a resume or something. I do think you're wanting to leave something behind, though. Some of you are wanting to move. The Chariot. Yeah, you could literally be wanting to move. Maybe you're saving up for a car. Some of you, your car could be getting worked on as well. Maybe you decided to just trade it in entirely or something of that nature here. Okay. We have the death card showing up. A Scorpio, an Aquarius, um, or a Cancerian could be coming towards you here. Some of you, you know, not to put this out there, but there could definitely be something with a vehicle um, where it's just like done. You know, it's just like it's done for. I feel like for some of you, you're having to get something new. Um, what else do we have here for the chariot? Okay, we have the Strength card and the Three of Swords. Some of you, this actually could be, you could be moving on here from a Leo, Scorpio, Cancerian, or Aquarius. Um, you know, I do feel like there's something here where there's been an ending and you've been heartbroken over it, but the Strength card is kind of telling me you're getting back on your feet, and I feel like there is forward movement here. So some of you, you've been like healing from this for a while, but you're finally like moving on to something new here. You have the Eight of Swords showing up. What's this Eight of Swords about? It's about another person here. The Eight of Swords appears to be another person's energy. I think that you're like, some of you, you could be shocking somebody like by standing on your own two feet, by getting back on your feet, by moving on from them. You could be moving on to another fire sign here for some of you. But yeah, I do feel like a person is like stuck in their head. I do feel like there's this smug energy of like somebody wanting you to like look back at them. You know, it's like, look at me. Don't forget about me. It's that type of energy here. You could have even left this person. I do think someone, there's this weird energy here too, Sagittarius, where there could be a person who's fine with you not being with them, but they're not fine with you being with someone else. Um, so there's that energy here as well. You're hearing my dog, by the way. Don't freak out. He makes crazy noises in his sleep. Yeah, Nine of Swords. A person is like stressing. And honestly, pages are messengers. I wouldn't be surprised if you get a message from this person. I feel like a very emotional message is coming your way. Six of Cups, literally a card of your past. Somebody's thinking about you. I also feel like something's driving them crazy, the fact that you could be, like, very private. Like, they don't know what's going on with you. You have Knight of Pentacles here as well. This could be a Virgo, some of you. Sagittarius. Got air energy here. Pretty much got, um, or I meant Scorpio. Um, but pretty much got all the signs out here. I think for a lot of you, there's a person here who can, like, sense that you have moved on. I think this was a really, like, powerful soulmate connection. Um... You know, and, and that's not to say that you can't, like, set boundaries with this energy. Um, it's not to say that, like, this is going to drag you down forever because I don't feel that way. I don't feel that it's dragging you down at all anymore. But I do think this person can still kind of, like, tune into your energy a little bit. And they can sense that you're moving forward, you know. And I feel like they're being very cautious, but I do see them coming towards you here. I feel like they're being very cautious, but they're coming towards you. I feel like, you know... 
because Knight of Pentacles is a very like careful, slow moving energy. Um, it's very detailed as well, or attention to detail, I should say. I feel like they're trying to figure out what's going on with you. The hair font, higher level of commitment. Some of you, it's like this person can sniff out like a, a commitment coming for you, maybe even before you can. Like they can feel that you're in a new energy and they know that it's going to, like what it's going to attract, who it's going to attract. It's that type of vibe here. Um, a lot of you, I do feel you could be headed towards somebody that you're going to marry or someone who's who you're going to marry is headed towards you or you're already in that connection. And, you know, this person could be sensing that it's moving to that level. Um, it's really powerful though. You know, it's really powerful. Uh, you could do like cord cutting ritual. I really don't feel that this is necessarily bothering you. I feel that it's bothering this person. So um, I'm not sure how much that would help them. So that's what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. I hope that this was helpful or fun. Details are down below for anybody who is interested in personals. Like I said, there are two different options. The two question reading you get um, within three to five business days after purchase. And the three question reading you get within two business days after purchase. Everything's down there if you're interested, of course. But if this is where we part, thank you so much uh, for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.